So this is our microfiber sectional sofa that we purchased um, a little over two years ago. It's been a fine sofa for us. It's a neutral color. We've had no stains or water problems on it. Um, however, a couple of days ago, a family member brought their small pooch over and she had an accident on the microfiber sofa. So um, our dogs like to perch kind of in the top of the cushion right here and this little dog was right here on the top of this cushion and she peed a lot on top of here. Um, at first we just kind of sopped up the liquid with some paper towels um, it's microfiber so it, it did resist some of it not everything soaked through a lot of it was sitting on top we were able to soak up some and at the time of the incident we did go ahead and douse it with this kids and pets stain and odor remover um, this isn't something I've really done research on I went to the store looking for something specific for pet odor when we first got our puppy and he was potty training. Um, we have been using this for about six months. It does seem to do a pretty good job. We've only had few incidences so um, it actually has a very potent smell at first. It's kind of like blueberries. It actually smells really great so it immediately counteracts the, the poor odor, the bad odor. Um, but I've never, I hadn't used it on the sofa before this. I had really only used it on the carpet. So this was a few days ago. We've been a little bit busy. We're coming back to the situation now because there is still some smell. Um, we looked online for different solutions. Turns out there are thousands and thousands of posts on how to clean your microfiber sofa. Um, a lot of people say a lot of different things, so we decided to go ahead and, and make a video of what we decided to do and let you know how that works. So if you're ever in this situation, you can try this type of option. So, she peed mostly on top of the cushion, but some of it did dribble onto the cushions that were right here. So, these cushions are removable. They just have a zipper. You can take them off the couch. You can unzip it. Take the cushion completely off. It's just foam in here. I already have washed these two cushions in the washing machine um, on gentle, with just these two things in there, on gentle cycle, cold, cold. I put um, enough di regular laundry detergent in for a small load of laundry and then um, got them out of the washer immediately and just laid them flat to dry. They've dried, they're clean, they smell great, no problem, no stains. Um, so our problem comes in because this cushion is not removable. As you can see, it's sewn to the couch. So it becomes a little bit more of a problem trying to remove the odor. There's no stain. The stain is gone as you can see, no problem. It's just the odor. So what we decided to do was come in underneath. We just, we used um, just kind of like a, a little knife, an exacto knife, and just ripped the seam as you can imagine, when this is full of stuffing, this seam is on the bottom. So, yeah, so here's one that's, it was this seam here. So we just ripped it enough to get an arm in here. And we've already pulled out all the stuffing that was in here. It's not foam in here, it's loose stuffing, so it's real easy to pull out. Now everything on the bottom half of the cushion was totally unaffected by the urine. So when we first started pulling things out, we did save the stuffing that had no smell, hadn't been touched. We filled up this entire garbage bag with the foam. So this is all clean, still smells fine, no problem. We're going to reuse this when we stuff. Now for the, for the stuffing that was at the top, you can tell what's been affected because it has a smell. So with everything that was at the top of the cushion, we're just going to go ahead and pitch. So now that we've removed all the stuffing, 
we have we're going to use our kids and pets when you buy this it doesn't have a spray spray top on it it has more like a water bottle lid on it because you're here it is yeah because you're supposed the instructions say when there's a spot you douse the whole thing just douse it soak it and well that's after you soak up the excess liquid or whatever it may be you doubt if it's carpet you douse the carpet and then you just let it dry and that's all you do you don't scrub it or rub it or anything so I have done that in the past with the carpet and it seems to have been fine I did not want to do that for this um, anyone who has microfiber knows that liquid on microfiber is not always great it can leave a ring blah 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 so I just went ahead and switched out the water bottle type lid for I just took this off my Windex bottle sprayed some water through it Threw it in here so that we can apply it just a little bit lighter and a little bit more evenly. So all we're going to do on this microfiber cleaning attempt is spray the affected area on the outside. Now like I said this was a good amount of pee so I'm going to really get the whole thing in case it Seeped. And I can already smell this. It's, it, it has a kind of a, it has a smell, but it doesn't smell like a cleaning product. So I don't know why it makes me think of like blueberry candy. Unfortunately for us, our precious pooch visitor did dribble kind of down the front here. So I'm just going to not be shy about it. And as you can see, it's getting darker, so I know it's pretty saturated. I'm going to just kind of, I don't want to have to do this again, so I'm just doing the whole thing. Maybe even coming back around here. When you're cleaning this, no matter how close you get, as soon as you put this stuff on, you're not smelling pee anymore, I can tell you that right now. Okay, so I've got the outside. Now what I want to do here is apply some of the product on the inside and agitate it a little bit with a, some sort of scrubby brush or whatever you might have. So I'm going to just see if I can fit both. Yeah, okay. So I just got my arm in here. And I have some assistance. I'm just going to, you can't see it, but I'm just spraying. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just spraying from the inside so it's on both sides of the fabric. This is really wet so like I said I'm being very generous. Yeah it's it's already kind of soaking through so I think there's plenty. I guess I get a little bit on the top. Yeah it's really wet in here. Okay I think we're good. I'm gonna pull it out. See it's getting a little I'm just going to, this is a scrub brush we happen to have on hand. I'm not going to do this much on top because you don't want to take the chance. This is really, really hard and microfiber can get a little touchy, but I am going to do it on the inside because nobody can see that. And actually, if you look on the inside, it's not even microfiber in there. It's just, it's like felty fuzz. Fleece, 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 fleece. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be kind of gentle on the inside too because since it's like fleece in there, we don't want to tear it up. But I'm just gonna get things moving around a little. So nothing's stagnant. I'm gonna try to just brush out the whole wet surface just a little bit. Because like I said, I just want to be as thorough as I can so I do not have to come back and do this ever again. Short of banishing the pooch from ever coming back to our house. So anyway, however long you might want to do this is up to you. Whatever makes you feel good about getting the job done. 
And then at this 